today we're going to go over the precept catheter. Precept catheter is used for septic patients. Um, it's a separate catheter than a, than a central line, um, but it can still has three lumens to put your drugs through. So if you still want to monitor CVP, you can um, at the same time, but it, it does require this box. So what you'll need is this and your machine. Uh, so it's best to wait till the physician inserts the preset catheter before you try to calibrate so that we do in vivo. Trying to do things in vitro gets complicated and you, you have to calibrate it again. So wait till the physician inserts the catheter um, and then you'll have this blue form and that's what we'll use. So they'll insert this and make sure there's two clasps on here, so make sure the physician um, inserts both, sutures both, so that it doesn't um, move. Okay. So then what you'll take is you'll take this and you'll hook it up into here. And it snaps into place. There you go. Turn on your machine. There's a plug in the back that has to be hooked up into the back. It goes right here. Um, so you'll put that into there. And then um, everything is kind of toggled around. So gender, I'm going to use a female. And she's, so you click on the age, and then you scroll, and you just turn up or down. We'll say she's 66. Um, you'll have to have her height. inches sound good. Weight, she weighs in pounds, she weighs 130. You just scroll down until you find their weight. And that calculates their BSA. For SCVO2 of about 75%. So toggle over to that box till it's lit up in yellow and click on that. What will happen is you'll get these things. What you want to do is in vivo, so inside the body, um, and you in vivo calibration. Continue. Okay, so now it says to select draw and draw waste followed by a lab sample. So what we're going to draw, we're going to draw off a port of your central line or your precept catheter. We're going to draw a VBG, a venous blood gas, and we're going to give it to the RT to run. That will give you the correct values that you need. Um, so draw. That will give you an SCBO2. So let's say their SCBO2 on the blood gas or the venous blood gas is like 60 something per percent or 69 percent. Okay, their hemoglobin Ten point three, and a hematocrit of thirty one, and then you'll sell, select calibrate. Okay, so now you're ready to go, and you're going to get a your CV, SCVO two. It's going to show in the right um, the right upper box, and it'll also graph trends for you. So right here you'll see there's uh, green boxes. You want it to be green. If it's red, sometimes you'll have to reposition your patient. Basically the line isn't running well, so you could flush the line or reposition until you get some green boxes. Okay, so our goal again is 75%. Um, if it's high, above 90, <clears throat> um, your patient's not doing so good. And um, But if it's low, um, you'll either need to increase fluid Either they could be agitated, they could have a fever, um, or they might be working too hard to breathe, so you might need to consider intubation.